Judge not, that you be not judged. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Jesus' instructions with regard to judging others is very simply put. He says, do not. The average Christian is the most piercingly critical individual known. Criticism is one of the ordinary activities of people. But in the spiritual realm, nothing is accomplished by it. The effect of criticism is the dividing up of the strengths of the one being criticized. The Holy Spirit is the only one in the proper position to criticize, and He alone is able to show what is wrong without hurting and wounding. It is impossible to enter into fellowship with God when you are in a critical mood. Criticism serves to make you harsh, vindictive, and cruel, and leaves you with the soothing and flattering idea that you are somehow superior to others. Jesus says that as his disciple, you should cultivate a temperament that is never critical. This will not happen quickly, but must be developed over a span of time. You must constantly beware of anything that causes you to think of yourself as a superior person. There is no escaping the penetrating search of my life by Jesus. If I see the little speck in your eye, it means that I have a plank of timber in my own. Every wrong thing that I see in you, God finds in me. Every time I judge, I condemn myself. See Romans chapter 2, verse 17 to 24. Stop having a measuring stick for other people. There is always at least one more fact, which we know nothing about, in every person's situation. The first thing God does is to give us thorough spiritual cleaning. After that, there is no possibility of pride remaining in us. I have never met a person I could despair of or lose all hope for. After discerning what lies in me apart from the grace of God.